Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. So, with this week's races then, the daily races, they're absolutely atrocious in my opinion. So I thought, I'd come up with an idea of what would actually be my dream set of daily races. So what I'm going to show you today is what I think are the best daily races possible. So I'm going to break them down for you for every single daily race that I do. So this is daily race A. It consists of group 4 cars, no FF cars allowed, tyre wear is zero, fuel wear is zero as well, and yeah we're just going to crack on and you're going to see exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to jump in the Nissan GTR here as we get quite a good start to say the least thanks to the four wheel drive system. Uh, on this um, absolutely awesome minty um, Godzilla, which is uh, uh, a favourite of uh, Jimmy Broadbent, and I absolutely love it myself. So yeah, this is the Red Bull Ring. Now I'm going to try and break down to you exactly why I think this is a perfect Daily Race A. Now for Daily Race A, I believe it should be uh, a, a race where anyone of any skill level can really just jump in. Uh, well, any, any race should be like that really, but this one in particular, for Daily Race A, it should be a nice short sprint in cars that are easy to control, plenty of variety, and can something that can really, you can get your, stick your teeth into, and if you're struggling, you can just grind it out for the week, but still enjoy the race. So that's why I've picked the Red Bull Ring for Daily Race 8 and this group of cars. Group 4 cars, notoriously easy to drive. Um, no issues with them. You, you can drive them without traction control, really, especially, you know, in a you know, four-wheel drive car like the Nissan GTR. It's nice and easy to do. Um, there are plenty of cars in there as well um, to choose from, big variety. Um, I've banned FF cars as Larry goes <laughs> way too much on the inside there, and um, some guy from Turkey, bless him, has uh, completely gone off the track as we try and potentially go up the move of the inside of Barry there, but he's got the outside line, so he's just about kept it. Um, so, yeah, for these cars, very easy to control, any of them really you can pick and you'll be absolutely, absolutely fine. Um, no fuel wear or tyre wear to worry about, we don't want that in daily race A, we want a race where we can just jump in, have a bit of a laugh uh, and just go from there really and not having to worry about any of that kind of stuff. Like I said, daily race A, it should be a race for everyone, any skill level, you just jump in, uh, grind it out and see what you can do. A really easy, welcoming race for daily race A and even for the more experienced drivers, uh, it's an absolutely awesome track uh, once you get used to it and you can really grind it out, there's so much time you can find even though this track has got what, 8 or 9 corners it's still um, relatively um, if you want to just find those thousands of a second it can be relatively difficult but if you are a newbie to this game um, you can find time quite easily which is so, that's why I really like it, it you know, any skill level you can go around this track and have a bit of a laugh you can see uh, the Brit there gets murdered um, quite badly by another Brit, just tapped me, but uh, the penalty system, as you can see, not really coming into effect, this is one of the benefits of the open lobby, um, you can adjust it uh, to your needs, you can have it, I think you can have it weak or, or strong or contacts, you know, penalty contact or, you know, if you're in the wall and all that kind of stuff, cutting corners, you can adjust that, so, so far so good, um, please let me know, by the way, if you like the, I, this idea of a video going through the Dream Daily Races, and if you want to tell me what your dream daily races are, please let me know in the comments, I'd love to know uh, what you guys are here, but I put some good thought process into this, one thing I haven't actually mentioned in this, is that I made it a standing start, because I'm fed up of rolling starts, because every time you do a rolling start, I think it just reduces the action on lap one, yes you could say you know, more penalties are going to happen, but I just feel like, it, it, it just feels better, I think, I think standing starts are just a lot more fun. The racing is a lot tighter. You're not doing a thing like a spa where you're, you know, a good 15, 16 seconds behind the leader if you haven't done the qualifying. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think standing starts are al always the way to go, uh, and I will stand by that. Maybe in certain races, um, you, you'd have to do a rolling start. We'll see, we'll see. But for me, in this instance, I think, you know, a, a standing start uh, is certainly uh, the way to go. But apart from that, I don't think there's anything else really I need to cover for Daily Race A. Like I said, you can really grind it out and it'll be a lot of fun, I think. And this lobby, you can see there's such a great mixture of cars. There's a massive mixture. Um, more than I thought there would be, to be fair. And I think the inclusion of removing FF cars, I believe... Um, I don't think there's going to be a BOP change that can make them just um, go right and then left and overtake this Brit on the right-hand side. There's a nice little move. Um, I don't believe, even with a BOP change, it's going to be quite enough with the FF cars. Um, so what my suggestion is is that they become a separate category um, purely because you know when you join certain races um, daily races A and, and it's like 
provide, specifically provide a car for Group 4 and you always know it's going to be a front-wheel drive car. Always is. So I feel as if they should be their own category. And as soon as I've removed the FF cars, so we go for a sweet move up the inside uh, of the guy from, um, I think that's going to be Czech Republic. Again, I've probably absolutely butchered that. Um, and I'm not going to try and pronounce that name because I will... It's a flak... Well, because um, <laughs> I'll butcher it and I probably just have. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the perfect combination for Daily Race A. Please let me know in the comments if you've got anything else. But because I've mispronounced his name, he's absolutely <laughs> yeeted me. Um, <laughs> and I've destroyed several people there. Uh, he's, he definitely didn't mean it, bless him. Uh, he definitely didn't mean it. But... Um, Ah, who cares? It's only an open lobby. It is relaxed. I don't, I don't care too much. It's a bit of a laugh. Um, it's just the idea, the concept. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but so far, so good. I started at the back of this one to make this a little bit more um, entertaining. Um, and I think it's gone well so far. We're up to P7. Uh, probably been much... We were quite close, I believe, um, to the guys up ahead. But we have a little bit of contact from that guy. Uh, and now we're going to have to overtake uh, this guy again. I think it's Louis um, Fredlaw uh, again probably butchered that so I do apologize mate he's in the McLaren um in the it's not quite lime green like mine is it's kind of a, like a well it's like a really odd fainted green or is that more yellow I don't really sure he's got YouTube there you go you can check him out there you go look a little self plug join my lobby put YouTube logo on the side of it I like it I like it um yeah so we shoot up the inside here um just a little bit of contact tries to turn in when I'm on the apex doesn't quite work out for him unfortunately and that's going to put us up to P6 and we're going to cross the line here um, so yeah finishing P6 went from P16 uh, up to P6 gained 10 positions overall quite a good race um, maybe looking at these because this is again the first time I've done it if I was being if I was being critical maybe I'd increase the laps maybe I've made it like six or seven you don't want to make it too long but at the same time you don't, I don't want to be in that position I don't know with you guys where you're just waiting for the next race is a bit of a pain. So, let's go to Daily Race B then, shall we? Now, Daily Race B, again, standing start. However, looking back at this, maybe a rolling start, but a closer one. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. So, I've gone for, um, I've gone for Group 2 cars at Monza. Now, I know this is a brave choice. But I, sw I used to I ha remember a daily race here, and I thought it was absolutely awesome. So, yeah, racing mediums, okay? So you've noticed in these races, I don't have hard tyres in any of the races, because I am i don't want hard tyres, as we can see. <laughs> Hendrix there, absolutely... Well, well there you go. <laughs> Even with medium tyres, um, he's absolutely killed it, uh, unfortunately. So we're going to go into the first corner of Monza. You know this is an absolute nightmare, as you can see. Uh, there's ghosted cars uh, left, right, and centre. We started um, in 16th, I believe. We're going to go up one place. So someone has absolutely destroyed the bollard, uh, <laughs> and it's on the roof of some of the cars. Um, that definitely would have caused a few, of course, a few DNFs uh, in real life as we go through this uh, long right hander. So yeah, I didn't want any hard tyres. Uh, I'm fed up of hard tyres and the understeer, uh, and they just don't feel like they're any good on this game because the difference between hard and medium tyres is far, far too much. You see people all over the place here. So, yeah, the pace difference between hard and medium is far too much, and there's no real benefit. Like, if you just put hards and mediums on and compared them, you'd much rather... They're, they're over, like, a second on search tracks, aren't they? Quite easily quicker than the hards. Uh, and a pit stop on this game is, what, seven, eight seconds normally? Um, so it just seems, it just seems utterly pointless, because after seven, eight laps, you know, the mediums have already, you know, a whole pit stop ahead if you're on hard tyres. So... It doesn't really make much of a difference. I mean, if it was more like 20, you know, you need 20 laps to do the overcar or whatever, it would make sense, I think. But for me, I don't feel like the hard tyres on this game, I don't feel like they're any good. Um, I feel like medium tyres should be the way forward on this game, or maybe the hard tyres are adjusted. So that's why you're going to see in these races, I just choose um, the medium tyres uh, every day of the week. You see there's three people going wide here. Uh, we've got Larry JRM and is that Starburst in front of us as well? So we've got a nice little battle going here. I decided to go in the Lexus uh, on this occasion. It's very close between the Lexus and the GTR, I believe, with uh, BOP on us. They're going to go three wide down the straight. I'm going to attempt to go four wide, but unfortunately the track is just not wide enough for all four of us. So I just break at the perfect point, I believe, um, and we time that to perfection. Just get up the inside of uh, Larry behind us. I go a little bit too wide there. Bit of contact. The Brit is off in front of us as well, JRM. Um, so that's now going to promote us up to 7th place. So good start so far. Uh, one and a bit laps uh, underway. And we've managed to get ourselves uh, up a few positions. A few. It's more like nine positions. It's, it's quite the start. So behind Starburst now. 
Um, just breaking over after 100 meter ball, I should say. This guy absolutely launches it. Uh, JRM up the inside. Can't quite pull the move off, and then he has a bit of contact with Starburst as well. But it doesn't really matter. Like I said, these are just test lobby, so we're not gonna, we're not taking this too seriously. Um, and to be fair, it was nice to race with you guys. So um, if you are interested in these kind of races, Starburst just absolutely <laughs> he just disappears. Does a disappearing act. Um, but if you'd like to be part of these videos or these lobbies, just join the Discord, uh, it's in the link. And you can see this Brit here um, completely outbreaks himself and the game thinks he's going to cut the corner and gain advantage. So he just teleports um, and he just completely disappears. So uh, that's another position gained right there. Anyways, uh, lap four as we go under the bridge, breaking on the concrete on the right hand side. You can see we're purple by a second, so we're much quicker. It's just as soon as we um, catch up with some traffic, uh, we haven't really got... Uh, anywhere to go. So behind the Brit now, NI Revolution. That's an easy, easy one, thankfully, for me to try and say and pronounce. Uh, we've got an American P3 as well. Um, looking for a 100 meter ball, breaking on it, turning inside there, uh, clipping the apex on the inside if possible. But thankfully, I say thankfully, it's not thankfully at all. Uh, but the Brit in front of us actually takes a nice line, and I can't quite get the power down. A little bit of understeer, uh, couldn't really go too far. So I did a 38.7 on that one. Not lightning quick, it can certainly go quicker. Again, trying to go wide, but I didn't learn the lesson. You cannot fit a car down that right hand side, Ollie. It's just grass. Uh, these two have a little bit of contact. Attempt to go around the outside, can't quite make it. Maybe go for the switchback. Can't do that. The American goes into the back of Revolution. So then I try and go wide. It just forces off a little bit, but it's just, just about acceptable, I think. Um, forced half the car off, but still enough room to get back on. So, you know, that's up to you guys to decide whether it was a a fair defence on that, now shoots up the inside and unfortunately completely and utterly gets his breaking points wrong but because because of the um, the lack of penalties shall we say in this open lobby he just cut the corner and completely got away with it so uh, no remorse from the American, shoots up the inside of that corner um, completely misses his breaking point, goes up two positions and keeps it <laughs> so there you go, now obviously if this was a daily race he would have got a penalty uh, and he would have dropped right back but the, of course this is an open lobby the penalties are different. Uh, you can literally just serve it the old way. Um, if you played this game uh, when it first came out, uh, for, I think it was like for the first year or so, there was no penalty lines. All you did was slow down um, whenever you wanted, which was a little bit of a, um, well, I'm going to say it's a bit of a piss take because you could easily punt someone off, get a five second penalty and just sit still for five seconds and then go again uh, as we got the inside of the American. Um, but he's going to do a really, really um, nice defensive move actually. Um, just squeezes me on the inside, so I've got nowhere really to go. I'd want to go more to the left, but I can't. And because of that tighter line, I couldn't actually get the move done. So fair play to him. Absolutely fantastic move. You see these people serving penalties, and they just serve it in time. Uh, and that drops me, uh, well, I say it drops me, it keeps me in P4. Uh, I think with real penalties, that would have seen me um, into P2. But yeah, so Daily Race B then. Wanted Group 2 cars. This is a massive step up from Daily Race A, but it was nice, fast-paced um, action. Again, no fuel or tyre wear to worry about. And I just think that combination for Daily Race B, absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Again, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think Daily Race B should be. Uh, that's my combination there. Group 2, Monza. I just think it's so fast-paced. It's absolutely awesome. And, yeah, that will be my, my pick for Daily Race B. And then Daily Race C, for me... Easy choice, easy choice. It has to be the best group cars on the game. And it has to be group free, into Lagos, tyre wear, fuel um, depreciation as well. You've got to have everything in my eyes. You've got to have um, you've got to have strategy. Um, you could choose MR, FR cars. Even your decision about what type of car you pick is absolutely vital. Um, fuel uh, depletion as well as on. Uh, I know this was on Daily Race C a couple weeks back. But I made a few alterations, so the fuel and tyre wear is on times six for both. So the tyre wear is very similar, um, but the fuel is harder. So as in by harder, I mean it, it depletes quite a, quite a bit more. So you have to maybe choose a slower car, but that car doesn't have to refuel as much in the pit lane. So therefore, it has an advantage. I wanted a race where you have to think of everything. So for the experts, for more advanced, if you want to have a nice 30-minute race where... You've really got to think. It's not just about out-and-out -out pace, okay? So that's why I think this place and this combination uh, is absolutely awesome. So into Lagos, uh, it's just got that long straight for cars that have got an advantage with the top end. But it's got an absolutely awesome middle sector uh, that we're going through now, which is really, really good, um, I believe, for the MR cars. Anything that's, you know, really good at handling, really takes advantage uh, of these corners here. And uh, just it's just, I think, group three in this game, 
think it's by far uh, the best combination on this game. I don't think, I think all the cars are very equal. Um, there's not like a massive, unless you're going for something like a Z4 or uh, an M3 or anything like that. I don't think there's anything where you think to yourself, right, that is a massively at a disadvantage. Everything else has its perks, you know, positives and negatives, advantages, disadvantages and all that. All that good stuff. But um, yeah, we're in two laps in. Again, I started in P11 this time. One thing I didn't actually mention as well, mandatory tyres. So in this one, you have to use the mediums and you have to use the softs. Again, if you haven't realised, no hard tyres. I'm not interested. I don't think they're there on this game. I think that the hard tyres should be abolished. They're not good. They're not good on this game. You shouldn't have them. Which is why I quite liked Daily Race B this week, because it had mediums. But unfortunately, FF cars, and they just were even more overpowered. Uh, which is a, a little bit frustrating. But anyways, uh, through turn four, and I believe this is turn five, we've managed to get ourselves up to P6 um, after a lap or a bit of racing. Uh, you've got the JRM in the middle, and you can see I've just got absolutely barged there. Uh, it might have been Larry, and it's going oh, get a little bit messy now, uh, and I've got nowhere to go, and I absolutely hit JRM. And then I see the most beautiful livery ever made from Agu. I absolutely rate that. That is a that is an 8 out of 8. That is that is an absolutely gorgeous um you're gonna have to. I don't know who that guy is, but I fully rate him. That is that is quite. Um, I have to check his channel out, actually. That's, um, that's something I'll have to do. If he's made livery like that, he must be good. He must be half decent. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop talking bollocks again. Okay, so Agu gets the move past. He goes a little bit wide, but one thing I don't think this lobby has really realised uh, is the fuel. I did mention this. Uh, they did ask at the start, what's the fuel and stuff like that. And I said time six for both. As you can see, we've only got 7.7 .7 laps of fuel remaining. And that is nowhere near enough for us to get to the end of the race. So I'm being a bit conservative. And you'll also notice I've started on the medium tyres. So I'm not on the softs. My pace is not going to be there uh, straight away. I will be on the mediums. But for the second half of the race, race, race? <laughs> for the second half of the race, I will be on softs. So we should have a lot more pace. So fuel-wise, 7.4. Um, as we're going down this main straight, I say main straight, it's not really main straight, is it? Or, no, no, I'm going to say the actual straight on the start line is longer than this, surely. Yeah, absolutely. Anyways, yeah, Agu there, again, he's got, he goes a little bit wide. The Mustang is certainly not a car I would pick or choose. But again, massive variety of cars. We've got an M6, a Mustang, a Vantage, a Hyundai, a Peugeot. Uh, I think that's a Porsche, just above, uh, just in front of that as well. So it's, you know, a variety of cars straight away. I think I can see a Beetle as well. Uh, which is absolutely awesome. So you got the inside there, managed to claim uh, back P8. Uh, once more, right behind Larry, uh, he's got a 0, 0.0 second penalty, which is um, interesting. He goes wide there, just about manages to keep the car under control. I'm not the track. I was fully expecting when I was doing this race to him to absolutely lose it there, but he's done well, uh, in all fairness, um, to keep the car on the track. And I'm going to have to find another way past him as I get a massive nudge. Um, by a JRM underscore 500 uh, going into that corner he thought he could get the move done a um, little bit optimistic shall we say can't quite lunge me from there um, but yeah uh, unfortunately for him couldn't quite get it done and there's an absolute send of the century by the Turkish guy there. <laughs> absolute send in the yeetle he indeed, he indeed tried to yeetle me but unfortunately well I say fortunately for me and unfortunately for him not quite worked out he's completely missed his breaking point into turn one uh, and that promotes me well back up to p8 again i guess we did lose one or two whilst they overtook me in the shenanigans but managed to get it back and you see the ghost is on as well again it's an open lobby thing in daily races it will be slightly different um but yeah just to let you know if you're wondering that is one of the one of the things about um the open lobbies anyways you see larry once again uh, in front of us um unfortunately going very very wide and that kind of opens the door up it's a little bit of argy bargy as larry gets a half second penalty uh, for his woes as well and I'm, I'm immediately because of all the fighting they're doing I'm able to catch up straight away which is absolutely awesome uh, and you can see the gap between myself and first is only 6.6 .6 seconds so it's not very far at all we've not lost much time and we're still on those medium tyres remember so we will be able to swap onto the softs and we should have uh, the pace advantage the only thing I will say is Revolution is not in this pack of cars he is well ahead he's a good um what, three seconds ahead of this pack, I think. So he doesn't need to worry about that. He can just crack on with his own race. Uh, 32.9, so eight temps off the fastest lap. Um, I imagine um, they're on the mediums as well. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Motion Spurs might be on the softs. They could be, um, well, actually, to be fair, I reckon they will be on the softs. So right, we take the inside, um, coming out of the center S's uh, of, uh, is that Joshi Racer? 
So we got the inside. Look at the inside of Larry here. Now, is he going to outbreak himself? He's not. He goes a little bit wide. So a uh, nice little invitation up the inside. Now, he does actually have a poor exit. And I do manage to get myself up to P6 as I now set my sights or target on the two cars up ahead. It looks like uh, Louis got a 1.4 second penalty. Again, open lobbies, they do have um, the old penalty system on it, so you won't really see a penalty line or anything like that. I don't know actually if you can enforce that. Someone will have to let me know. I don't think you can. I don't think you can switch to the um, to the new one. Anyways, um, Melton Spurs in front of us in the Spurs livery. You'd never guess he was a Spurs fan. You'd never know. I don't know if it's the livery or the game tag. Just something gives it away. My assumption that he is a Spurs fan. You never know. You never know. Maybe he's an Arsenal fan. Um, anyways, yeah. So we go through the second to last sector. Um, three and a half tenths, basically. Ah, oh, the Spurs man. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Clearly heard me call him an Arsenal fan. and Did not like that in the slightest. Put him right off. Anyways, lap six. I decide to hop into the pits. And I decide to put those soft tyres on. Again, you can see fuel-wise, I'm on 40%. And the people in, in the pit stop... Uh, we're around 18 to 27. I don't know what Josh did to get 18. Um, I only have 18 um, percentage of fuel left in the tank. That's um, that's quite impressive. Really, really is. But we came out in P10. And we're going to move ahead. Because you're going to see three Porsches absolutely just wreck it. Well, I say wreck it. They're just going to destroy their own race. So this guy completely outbreaks himself. And then Ace Hendrick goes really slow. Forces the other Porsche to go wide. And I managed to get the inside of that Porsche. So in one corner, I've gone from 10th to 7th. And I've literally done nothing. And it was absolutely superb. Absolutely loved it. So, yeah, that's me up to um, P7. But we're going to skip ahead again. As you can see, there's a majority of people have gone into the pits now. And I'm on the soft tyres. And because I've been saving fuel, um, I am now well ahead. So we skip ahead then. I managed to catch up with uh, Revolution. Now, you can see my fuel is um, it's okay now. Um, but I pushed hard. You can see I did 30.3 to catch up with this guy. So I was fuel saving. And I thought, right around this corner, I'm going to put it in one and then catch up. But unfortunately... <laughs> Uh, Revolutions just bins it um, on the exit of that corner, which is a real shame because it would have been a, nice to have a, a race with him at the end. But unfortunately, bins it. I save enough fuel across the line. Of course, got to end the video on a win, haven't I? Got to end the video on a win. But that is my dream daily race seat, and those are all my dream daily races. So please let me know in the comments what you think your daily race would be, and please let me know your thoughts on my setup. Do you think I could improve it? Is there anything I could have changed, uh, and what you would have done? Um, but yeah, I think it was an interest, interesting concept for a video. Please let me know if you did enjoy it. And if you do want to be part of this video, uh, this video or, you know, future videos where we do more experiments like this, just join the Discord. It's in the link in the description down below. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.